Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to the toy table for what I have really been looking forward to uh, unboxing and doing a review on. But it is the one, the only Captain America and the motorcycle. So uh, let's open it up, check it out, and see what we think. So let's take let's take a look at this thing before we actually open it up. Number one, the packaging on this thing is amazing. Um, I will say this: mine actually came with a little bit of box damage, but you know what? I don't care because I'm not keeping it in the box. But uh, first and foremost, the the window here it is just amazing looking. I mean, come on, got a motorcycle, got cap. This thing is awesome. Um, side card, we got some graphics right here, basically the same graphic on each side cap, little action scene, and on the back end, we have the uh, graphics here, which, these are really, really cool. Um, got a little story, you know, when Steve Rogers, he joins a top secret super soldier program during World War II, talks about him emerging incredibly strong and fiercely patriotic here at Captain America, so this is really really cool. Uh, but I tell you what, let's uh, let's get this thing opened up, right? I mean, come on, we want to see it out of the box. Um, yeah, this thing when it was first announced, uh, it was a must. Uh, I mean, number one is cap. Number two, it's got a motorcycle, and, and you go, you guys know me. I ride motorcycles, so uh, yeah. And it's a World War II Harley Davidson. I will tell you this, uh, I'm actually going to save this back card right here. Uh, I just noticed it. That'll make a really cool backdrop, so yeah. If you get one of these, don't tear the box up too bad because that back card. Um, cut it out, have some fun with it. All right, first and foremost in the clamshell, uh, where do we begin? We're gonna start with the motorcycle. Yes. Let's see, have we got, got the little rubber band things? I think. Clamshells are loud. Let's get the handlebars out. We've got a bag here. Apologies, apologies. I'm just going to pop everything out. Got the shield. Got the weapon. We got the bayonet or the blade. And we got cap himself clamshell is done all right oh sweet that's cool all right so first things first um that comes off <laughs> uh let's check this out let's see how this looks like it just pegs in on the back and we got the other side saddlebag got a couple of holes right here and it basically pegs in right here. So I'm going to go ahead and pre-peg. Uh, the saddlebags themselves, they look really, really cool. Um, they, got some, they got some good detail to them. I mean, they're rubber, but um, they look good. It, they can be distressed a little bit more. And with a little bit of weathering, you can, you can make these look even better. So... All right, so those, looks like it just pegs right here on the seat. Snaps into place like that. And I'm debating on, I'll need to double check. I might, depending on how well this actually stays pegged, uh, I might actually uh, put a little glue on this. I don't know. I don't know. I'm trying to get a feel for how the saddlebags actually sit on this thing. But it just pegs in right here. 
But on this side here, the saddlebag sits a little wonky. So I need to figure out, oh, that might be, that might go in there. Oh, that does go in there. Okay, so I just learned something. This little slot right here, there's actually a flat spot right there. So that actually fits in there like that. Then you can peg in the other side or peg in the top and handlebars. Let's check out the handlebars. Then we'll take a look. So there is some assembly required. <laughs> I hope that these snap in and like stay snapped. I hope it just doesn't like peg in. I uh, hope it actually, it looks like it actually has like some retaining clips. That's what I'm hoping anyway. So let's get this bad boy together like that voila okay so first and foremost uh, the motorcycle itself um, it's cool I mean it's a very cool motorcycle uh, it's too green it needs to be dirtied uh, I will definitely be weathering this uh, it's too shiny it's like it's came out the assembly line um, that's cool I do like this this piece right here on the front. It almost has a fat. It almost fit. I think it is fabric. That feels really really cool. Um, it's got some good detail. I think it could be detailed a little bit more, especially around the bottom half of the engine component right here. I'm gonna have some fun. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get my damage magazines out. I'm really gonna. I think this thing could be made to look better. And with just some accent colors, you know, uh, we do have a kickstand right there, which is cool, which allows the bike to sit up on its own. Yes. Um, let's see. We do have this ammo box, which I'm curious about it. I do not. Let me look here. So it comes with the ammo box. Ah, oh, there's where the ammo box goes. Ah, oh, the, the picture's here. The pictures will help you out tremendously with this. Because it looks like the ammo box actually fits right here on the front fork. So, right here, these two pegs right here. Got two holes. That pegs in just like that. Voila. So that's a good option. Uh, I will tell you this, as a motorcyclist, this is very impractical. Uh, as you can see, it's hitting the footrest, which in real life, it would, it would do the same thing. So this is not practical. Um, I doubt I will leave this on here uh, permanently. Um, I don't know. But you definitely would not be able to turn left properly with this. <laughs> it's a safety issue. Just saying. All right, let's see here. Got the kickstand. Get that down. All right, so let's take a look at the uh, the weapon here, which should be a Thompson machine gun right there. Uh, once again, uh, it's all black. I'm going to change this because Thompson machine guns were not all black. Uh, I'll probably paint the stock here, uh, a wood grain, and as well right here because uh, Tommy guns weren't all black. So, Hasbro, the detail looks good, the mold looks great, but it's not all black, just saying. And I do like the fact we have a working scabbard. Uh, that's really, really cool. And we also have another couple of peg holes here. And it appears that this pegs in over here on this side. Let me double check. And it, oh, it might have went where the ammo can went. Let me look. Because it looks like the peg holes are the same. So it definitely goes on the right side. So let me see if I can get it to peg in. I'm 99.9% .9 sure. Yes, it does go there. It goes on the front fork. Take the gun out. And let's see here. Now this piece here, I would more than likely um, 
this one I might actually put in place permanently. Um, it does go in tight though. So this one I might actually put a little, uh, a little adhesive. There we go. Boom. All right. So there's the side scabbard on the motorcycle right there. And let's go ahead and stick the Tommy gun back in. I want to see something. Aha, that's what I thought. So, it is a little tricky. I'm not going to lie. To get that pegged in properly. But there we go. Right there. Boom. So, the accessories, we can do an ammo can on the front fork. And we can do the uh, scabbard and the tommy gun on the front fork let me get that back on there like that so there we go there's the front of the bike right there so that is all the accessories for the bike itself it's cool it's a very cool looking bike uh again just needs a little bit of a touch on some uh details that's all it needs. It needs to dirty it up a little bit. Uh, the other accessory cap comes with is a uh, fighting knife, which I find this strangely uh, humorous that this looks like a uh, Tonto blade, which, uh, no, not accurate. <laughs> Just saying. Uh, but on Cap himself, right here on his leg, he's got a, a knife scabbard. So the blade fits in like that. Now, I was curious about his pistol. Does it come out? Yes, it does, right there. And once again, uh, this is the Colt 1911, 45 ACP, and it's all black, and we need to put some brown grips on it. And that will make it look a little bit better. I'm, I'm nitpicking right now. That's that's all this is, is nitpicking. So, I am actually surprised that the pistol actually came in the holster and not in the clamshell. But, anyway, so let's take a look at the figure itself. Um, this is a very cool figure. Um, I do wish it would have came with an extra head sculpt. Because, number one, uh, if we look here, the helmet actually does come off. But he's got like this other thing on his head. <laughs> it's his mask. I get it. But parts of me do wish it would have had another head sculpt. I think that would be cool. Uh, but I do like the fact that I think he actually looks really good with the helmet on. Uh, as far as articulation goes, let's take the helmet back off. And shoulders. Looks like we can go pretty much parallel, which is good and arms looks like we have a solid double jointed elbow that is a great that's great right there uh let's see abs we have a waist pivot not a whole lot in the uh he's got some ab crunch but not a lot all right as far as his legs go not an not anything at all that's going to be obstructing his uh, leg movement. So we got good leg movement there. Knees. I'm going to use the leg that has the knife in it. All right. Double jointed knee, which is great. And we also have, we have a really good ankle. I mean, you can pretty much extend the, uh, the toe straight out. And we got a thigh rotation. So this particular cap has uh, he has some good good articulation. Uh, the the details great. Once again, I think he, he's a little too clean. I think he needs to be weathered a little bit, and I might play around with uh, his uniform as well. If you ride motorcycles and if you're in the military, stuff like that, you're you're dirty. It's so I think a little weathering on this would be cool. As far as cap shield, uh, we got the shield right there. Uh, he actually comes with a peg on the back. 
so the shield will actually peg in and that's about as far as it goes there is quite a bit of a gap right there um, but from the back it looks okay the front looks okay it's only when you're doing a side shot you'll see a pretty major gap right there as far as him holding the shield it looks like what we have here if you take the peg and push it down uh, has basically a, a, a C clamp and it just basically just snaps in it looks like like so voila so that's that's cool I mean that's a neat way um, to you know get him to hold his shield I'm, I'm okay with that I think uh, you could still it works but I, again the only time it wouldn't work is if you're looking straight down and you see the gap right here that'd be the only time but uh, yeah flip that back up peg it and voila so hey what let's let's get cap on his on his motorcycle here I'm gonna, I'm gonna pre position him <laughs> I think sometimes it's easier to get him in sort of a uh, a a semi a semi pose uh, before you put him on the motorcycle. Um, his I will say this: the throttle control and the handlebars actually look a little thick compared to uh, his hands, but that's okay. Um, he's definitely. Uh, he definitely has uh, grip issues when you're putting him on the uh, the motorcycle. But I tell you what, I'm going to uh, fiddle around with this a little bit, and uh, we'll get him all posed up, and we'll do a little bit a little bit of B-roll, show you guys what he looks like all posed up, and uh, I'll be right back. So I really hope you enjoyed that b-roll footage of this amazing uh, figure uh, Once again, this is the 80th Captain America on his motorcycle um, I'm telling you this is an amazing figure um, The detail I, Again, there's some little things that could have been tweaked a little bit better, but hey, that's okay uh, but overall Number one, if you're a Captain America fan, you got to have it. Um, if you like motorcycles, you got to have it. But uh, yeah, it's a great piece. Uh, this right now, honestly, is probably... This is probably my favorite uh, figure of 2019 so far. Right here. So, But I'll definitely keep you guys uh, in the loop when I start weathering it and sort of making it my own personal touch. But guys, that's going to be it for this unboxing and review of this amazing figure. So uh, as always, make sure you subscribe to my channel. Make sure you got notifications turned on. That way you'll know when the next video drops. But until the next unboxing and review, I'm Greg. This is The Toy Table. I will see you later. <laughs>